Little back, little back. Oh, and your mummy. Come on. That's it. That's it. Yeah. There you are, Kim. Little buck wants some more. That's it. <coughs> Robert Hartlepool, mate, you were asking how old little buck is or how long little buck will be able to stick around with his mother before Rowan of Wren tells him to go away. Um, I'd say at the moment he's about oh, one and a half and he'll probably be... Well, he's no longer drinking milk, but he'll probably be at foot for another year or year and a half. Sometime around the age of three, they start to wander off away from, <coughs> well, the flock or the herd, as I call them, you know, the, the does and joeys and young blokes. I better go and get some more bread for these fellas. There we go. Want another bit? That's a girl. Yes, you're falling down, aren't you? There we go. Sally. Cindy. Who else have we got? Oh, yes, we have a swamp already over there. Ah, swamp, you've missed it. She's coming back. There we go. Yeah, um... A lot of people seem to have the idea that as, as soon as a male kangaroo is weaned it then gets chased away by its father or the alpha male, but that just doesn't seem to happen. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of adolescent bucks that are too annoying to their mothers and aunties and sisters. <clears throat> the adolescents hang around together. And when one of the does is in estrus, all the various blokes come and have a go at smooching up and they don't do much fighting among themselves. And they have a few play fights and occasionally a big wrestling match. But a lot of that seems to be their uncle teaching the young fellas how to fight. Um, it's all very stylistic and friendly. And... The business of which male gets to mate with which female, it's up to the female. If she doesn't like him, she just keeps hopping away. If she hops away for a couple of days, he loses interest and somebody else has a go. It's, uh, kangaroo's world is pretty much run by the women. Isn't it, eh? Hey? Hey, little buck. And little buck, if you remember, he's the survivor of the twins that Mrs. Dogface tried to raise. She's gone back to raising them one at a time now. Uh, this is Whitetail. I know Sally's around here somewhere because we had her up eating bread. What have we got out here? We have Feisty, who was throwing a piece of bread and missed it. This is Mr. Whitetail Senior. And that's Fruit Loop. And Mr. Whitetail Senior's interested in Fruit Loop. Yesterday it was Eric. And uh, <clears throat> I, I mentioned this on a different video, Robert Hartlepool. Um, I'm not trying to run a, a marsupial porn show. It's wildlife documentary where the wildlife comes in and lives their normal life within camera range of me. And uh, there's not too many places where you get wildlife acting naturally within camera range. So, yeah, this is... Um, Mr. Whitetail Senior, because there is a swamp wallaby buck with a white tail and absolutely pristine ears. I was feeding him bread yesterday. But yeah, yesterday it was Eric who was sniffing around. Today it's Mr. Whitetail 
and uh, he doesn't seem to have any fresh bite marks or skin off him. It's just that, you know, Fruit Loop wasn't interested in starting a jolly with Eric, probably because, you know, she reckons they're too closely related. But yeah, the, uh, the wouldn't it be nice if phase where the bloke's trying to talk the lady into it goes on for quite a while with both kangaroos and swamp wallabies. And it's the lady who makes the decisions. Isn't that right, Kim? Yes, when you grow up, you'll be the one who decides who makes the joeys with you. It won't be him. He won't get to um, chase away all the other suitors. Everybody will take their turn. That's sniffing your tail. And the one you like will be the one who gets to make a hoppity. And perhaps this extended time of the young hanging around with the women is so that the young bucks can learn how to interact with the does in order to get the invitation to make a joey. Anyway, warbles on a lot to YouTube, 20 to 8 in the morning. They do look funny when they're chewing their cud, don't they? Ciao.